as I was saying, when I was young, there was a big movement going on and people were complaining because people wanted to take the Christ out of Christmas. They put an X there. I didn't understand then. They wanted to put the X there. They wanted to take Christ out of Christmas. And I thought that was just so horrible. Why would you take Christ out of Christmas? Why would you do that? Why would you do such a thing? Now I understand. Because Christmas is not about Christ. It's a great deception. It's a great deception. But you know, when your eyes open, you'll see the truth too. If you want it. If you want the truth, you will receive the truth. You understand? You'll stop listening to these preachers and these teachers that tell you it's okay. I think God is so kind with this. I think. And they won't never lead you to the scripture that tells you exactly what God thinks about it. They give you their personal opinions. You understand? All Hallows Eve. Anyway, in the same house, we talk about God. And in the same house, we practice All Hallows Eve. It ought not to be that way. You understand? God is looking for men and women of God who's going to set the example and draw people to the truth rather than draw people to lies. And the thing is, I guarantee you, these church leaders, they know because God talks to them on a personal level. Let me tell you something about people pleasing. I'm going to tell you something about Saul. Saul was a people pleaser. And it's caused his kingdom to be stripped from his hands. The people took of the spoil. But what did I command you, Saul? I told you not to take anything. Why did you keep Agag, the king, alive? Why did you kill him like I told you to do it? Stop making excuses. The people, the people wanted it. But God told you what to do. God put you in charge. Not the people. He put you in charge, Saul. You know what? God has found a man after his own heart. And his name is David. He's going to take over your kingdom and do what's right by me. Because you can't. Because you refuse to. You continue to rebel against me. I told you to wait seven days until Samuel, my prophet, came and offered up sacrifices. But you took it upon yourself and offered up sacrifices. You disobeyed me for the last time. You're not going to keep disobeying me. I gave you chance after chance to change from your wicked ways. Now I'm going to replace you. Now I'm going to replace you with somebody that's going to do my will and all honesty and all truth. A man after my own heart. A man who's going to call upon me. A man who's going to do exactly what I tell him to do. Not a perfect man, but a man who's going to tell do what I tell him to do. Who's going to call upon me and teach the people about me. Who's going to write psalms about me. A man who's going to spread my word and all honesty and truth and listen to my prophets. And listen to my men of God that I send your way. I'm going to replace you. Goodbye. I gave you chance to change from your evil ways. I gave you time and time again. I didn't get in your church for years and years and years to do what's right by me. Now I'm going to give somebody in there who's going to do right. I'm going to do just like the Old Testament. I'm going to replace this evil king with a king that did right in the sight of the Lord. You understand? But read your Bibles. Promotion comes not from the man, but from the Lord. The Lord brings one down and sets one up. Why does he do that? Why do he do that? Because men are not doing what they're supposed to do. Women of God are not doing what they're supposed to do. So God needs to replace them with people who are going to do what he wants them to do. Who's not going to mislead people with lies. Who's going to tell the truth. You understand? And you know what? He's going to let some of them continue to have their churches. Continue to have their synagogues. He's going to let them continue to do evil. He's going to give them over. Until they're evil. 
And you got to let them misuse his word to their own downfall. People, I love you and God loves you. I won't tell you anything that God has not set on my mind to tell you. You understand? I'm not out here trying to please people. I'm trying to wake people up. And God's trying to wake people up. I'm not the only one. There are many out here that's trying to wake up from their slumber. Who have took the veil off their eyes. You understand? You know, when Paul was in Rome, he told the Romans a lot of things. He told them the problems of having these idols all in here. No. This is not good. They even tried to worship Paul. Hey, no. Don't worship me. If you pay attention to the Bible, there's a lot of things that's going on. People are worshiping the, worshiping the creature more than the creator. They're worshiping the pastor more than the master. Oh, my preacher's a good preacher. I love my preacher. I worship my preacher. No, worship God. Don't worship man. Are you going to the church because of the preacher? Are you going to the church because of the word? What are you going to church for? Are you going to church to be seen of men? Jesus summed it up. Don't be like the hypocrites who like to stand in the street corners and stand in the street and make long prayers. They think by that multitude of words, gaining man's advantage. Who like the uppermost seats in the synagogues? Who like greetings in the marketplace? You understand? Don't be like them. And accept your righteousness and see the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. You will by no man, no means inherit the kingdom of heaven. Read your Bible and see what the Pharisees and the scribes' behavior was. You understand? Read your Bible. And let God tell you what ungodliness is. So you won't do it. And repent. Repent in sackcloth and ashes. Repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Tell my people to repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal. Cast out devils in my name. Don't bring devils into my church. You understand, people? I love you. Lord Jesus, I thank you for giving me this word today. I thank you for letting me bring forth this word and I will understand our truth, Lord Jesus. You know to whom much is given, much is required, Lord Jesus. The more you give it to me, the more I must do. And the more you give it to your children, the more they must do. The more you teach them, the more they must teach. Lord Jesus, touch them in a special way today. Open their eyes in a special way today, Lord Jesus. Send your Holy Spirit into their hearts, into their souls, into their bodies. And teach them what is the proper will of God in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope everybody have a blessed day. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to open, be open to the truth and still want to do the same thing. And still want to do what God is trying to tell you not to do. Because the world is doing it. Because the world is saying it's okay. Because the world is saying it's okay to abort your children. Because it's your body. You can do what you want to do with it. You understand? It's okay. It's okay to change your natural birth identity. That were male or female until the opposite sex. It's okay to lust and do sexual morality with the same sex. It's okay to marry in the same sex. It's okay. Stop listening to the world. The world is trying to lead you to hell in a handbasket. You got to think about the devil came to lie, kill, and destroy. His thing is to avert God's will into something else. You see, if he changed the women, if he changed the natural order of things, he can change the world. And that's how he's going to change the world. Because he's changing the natural order. God's order. And we are letting him. And the beast is going to come. And the actual race is going to come. Because we are ushering him in right now. The more we rebel against God. The closer his return comes. 
Have a blessed day.